We have a brand new macOS version being macOS Sequoia. Now, how does it compare to older macOS versions like Monterey, Ventura, and Sonoma? And which one should you install on your primary Mac? In this video, we will be finding out. The first test is the startup test. We will be seeing how long each version takes to boot up to the lock screen. While this isn't really an important part, it does tell us how efficient starting necessary resources are. So as you can see here, Sonoma takes a lead following by Monterey, then Sequoia, then Ventura. Now real quick, I'd like to tell you that this is just the same Mac, just quad booted on each version. It is an MO MacBook Air with 512GB of storage and 8GB of RAM. It also has an 8-core GPU. Now whether we like it or not, the browser is a very important part of the modern day internet. If you're watching on a computer, you are likely relying on a web application called YouTube, so it's pretty important to test browser performance. Now all macOS's are using Safari 18 except for macOS Monterey which is using Safari 17 so that might affect results here a little bit. As we can see right here, Sonoma came in first place with a score of 31.9, Sequoia in second with 31.8, Ventura in third with 22.9, and Monterey in last with 20.1. I will however be tying Sonoma and Sequoia because a 0.1 difference is not really anything at all. And on macOS Sonoma on Safari 17, I decided to run the test just to see how well it did. And here we got a 28.1, so we can use this number to gain a more accurate number if Safari 18 did run on macOS Monterey. And if we use math, Safari 18 gives a 13.52% advantage. So in reality, Monterey scored a 23.2 which will then make Ventura last and Monterey third place. We can then run Jetstream to measure JavaScript performance, which is the programming language used to make stuff work on the website. And as we can see right here, Sonoma won, followed by Sequoia, then Ventura, then Monterey. Now our next test is Motion Mark. Motion Mark starts rendering a ton of graphics and determines how well each of them run. While graphics aren't used much on the web, it tells us if macOS updates does affect graphics performance at all. So technically, it uses the CPU and GPU for a lot of the stuff that it does perform. And once the test ended, macOS Sequoia took the W on this one, followed by Sonoma, then Ventura, then Monterey. Now, the technical reason on why macOS Monterey is so much lower than macOS Ventura was because Apple introduced Metal 3, which ultimately improved Metal by quite a lot. And Apple being Apple, they implemented Metal 3 into Safari right away. And I'm guessing that Metal 3 just got better and better as each macOS version came out and Apple found a way to optimize it, which is why Sequoia must have took the W here. Now, not only do we need to find out what version of macOS is the fastest, but which one will be the most compatible. Now, I did try running an AI test on macOS Monterey and macOS Ventura. The AI tester program was not compatible at all on macOS Monterey. And while the tester did run on macOS Ventura, I just kept getting a server error. And I even tried a few weeks later and I just could not get anything to result for the AI test. So it must be a bug with the software, and that brings us to the point of software compatibility. macOS Sonoma brought up a lot of brand new critical APIs that developers will likely take advantage of as soon as they can, including Swift Data being one of them. Now I could give a whole list of APIs, but that's not what this video is for. But as a developer, it's just a lot easier to code software for macOS Sonoma and Sequoia because a lot of things have changed since macOS Ventura. Now here are a couple examples. My apps, Willy Widgets, and Willy Study are not supported on macOS Ventura and macOS Monterey. So if you do end up choosing macOS Sonoma and Sequoia, you totally should download them, just to self-advertise. And this also includes a lot of brand new apps that have recently come out. One of the biggest ones being ChatGBT for Mac. Now, while you can go to ChatGBT for the web, web is often very bloated and uses a lot of computer resources. So whenever just downloading an app onto your computer is an option, I highly recommend doing that more than just using the web version of it. And I did also go to the app store and did check out, and I did find out that a lot of them, especially the newer ones, required macOS, Sonoma, and later. That's something to keep in mind when making your decision. I'll come up with a definitive answer towards the end of this video. Now the next test is the Geekbench 6 CPU test. This tests pretty much everything that a user would do on their computers and sees how fast it does it. 
It has both the single core and multi-threaded operations, which are called multi-core Geekbench. I will say this right now, smaller tasks are usually done on the single core, while more complex tasks are usually done on the multi-core. In Activity Monitor, you could actually check where the app is currently using. In the CPU tab, if the percentage is over 100%, it is most definitely using a multi-core operation, otherwise known as a multi-threaded task. I not expect anything too bad when it came to Geekbench, and my predictions were pretty much spot on. Sequoia, Sonoma, and Ventura are all pretty much tied on the single core, and Monterey just got a tiny bit lower than all the others. But is it too critical? On the multi-core, Sonoma took the crown here with a score of 8808. Gonna say that Sequoia and Ventura tied in this case, and Monterey got dead last. Still not disappointing score, but it is still the lowest. macOS has two different graphics APIs that developers can use. OpenCL, which is deprecated but is still used among older applications and cross-platform ones, and Metal, which is the graphics API made by Apple for Apple platforms. It is still important to test OpenCL because despite Apple pushing developers to switch to Metal, many apps still use it, especially ones that just don't get updated anymore. Despite Apple just not touching OpenCL at all, Sequoia takes a clear victory royale here, followed by Sonoma, then Ventura, then Monterey. Maybe Apple's doing something in the back end just to make OpenCL run a little bit better on newer OS's. I'm just not sure. They do say it is deprecated though, which means they apparently do not touch it at all. Now we are going to run the Metal test. Metal is definitely a lot faster than OpenCL as it is made for Apple platforms exclusively. OpenCL is an open standard, which means that it needs to run on other platforms. Because Apple controls the software and the closed standard, they can pump out really nice results like we are going to see here in a little bit. Now this time around, Sonoma has won, followed by Sequoia, then Ventura, and then Monterey. And once again, the reason why Ventura is so much higher is because of Metal 3. As promised, I will now tell you the clear winner of which macOS version is the best. And the answer is... macOS Sonoma. Not only does it have near-perfect app support, but it won most of the tests. And I'm sure if I did this test a few months later on Sequoia 15.2 or something, Sequoia would take the W here. Because Sequoia is still brand new and may leak in certain places. And the reason why Sonoma won last year was because I did it on Sonoma 14.2. So that's something to keep in mind right there. And there was still a little bit of time for Sonoma to mature and stuff like that. Now I do not expect app support to shift over to Sequoia anytime soon, mainly because not much was introduced for developers this year. And I will say this now, Sequoia 15.1 beta is, is my daily driver, and it fixed pretty much everything I would complain about about macOS Sequoia 15.0. Now I am thinking on doing these tests again between Sequoia and Sonoma as each version of Sequoia comes out, so be subscribed for that, and thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, all my apps in the description down below and join the discord server and i'll see you in my next video bye